Okay, so doing another low water hunt. I'm under the dock. Still some snow everywhere. I'm digging where I can. Got quite a bit of clad so far. This is my first kind of good target. A little junk earring. No, I got a little part of an earring. I don't know. It might be silver. I'll have to test it. Kind of looks like it, doesn't it? Man, I can't believe how nice this weedy is I just pulled. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> it's brand new. It's crazy. But it came out of the the sand down deep. And it's crazy this is still here, but uh, I dug a signal, and then this was underneath of it. So that's why it's been here all these years. That's part of digging you know if you can get the junk out sometimes they'll unmask something so I think that says 37 well I just got me a blinger well it might be good who knows no, I don't think so but we're finding stuff I think it's pretty old so Jeff was with me tonight he got a Wheat penny in this awesome pirate Arr. ring. <laughs> like, we think it's aluminum. Yeah, it's pretty weak. That's funny. So, this one was kind of weird. It wasn't repeatable. It was only giving me a chirp one direction. And I thought, well, let me just see. Came up like the other weedy. That's <laughs> out of that sand again. <clears throat> but this is a 1922 Canadian. And look at that. It's like <laughs> mint condition. It's crazy. Awesome. So I'll just dig it every little sand I can trying to come up with a gold ring or something. There's a little charm. Looks like it's a musical notes. That might be silver. But I think it's bling. 1951 weedy definitely in good shape all right i got something here oh it's a tow ring oh that looks that looks silver yeah let me uh wash that sucker up yep there's a mark in there 925 baby nice always good to get a little chunk of silver so I dug this hole and I got a quarter and then I re-swept it and I think I got a monster here. Nice big juicy silver ring. Dang, you know what? <laughs> That's a beauty. Let me wash that up. Yep, there's definitely a mark, man. Isn't that a isn't that a nice one? That's oh, chunky. Well, I got a little earring here. At first, I thought this was going to be silver, but I'm instantly changing my mind on that, I think. You know what? It's wore off. But I think I do see the word sterling on the back of this. or Well, it looks like it would say sterling. There's like an S-T-E. A little bit disappears, then an L. So, yeah, I think that is an old sterling earring. That's cool. Man, I love this small coil. I can't believe the stuff I pick up with it that I just don't get with my regular coil. Everybody says it, and I even know it, but look at that. Here's like an antique ring. And I've been over this spot a bunch of times with my regular coil. Crazy. So this little ring is even monogrammed. I don't know if you can see that. But there's like a T or an I or something. It's awesome. Broken. But that's got some, that's got a little age to it. Unfortunately, it's just copper or brass or whatever. But hey, that's really neat. What a cool little relic. Let's keep going. So this is a 15. 
Definitely some sort of ring. I think it's going to be a junker. Alright, cool. Let's keep going. Hear how weird that sounds. So what it ended up being, which I find a lot, is a ring on edge. Now granted, it's probably not a good ring, but hey, I actually found gold rings with that sound before. They get up on edge and they make really weird sounds. Uh, let me see the, let me check it out. It does say something on there, I think. Okay, so it does say stainless in there. And I think it says Thessalonians 3, 4 or something. So definitely like a scripture ring. Cool, let's keep going. Well, somebody lost an earbud. Bose. Yeah, that probably cost them a pretty penny. So I just got a little earring. Coming up at 12. Yeah, so it's a little blinger, but not a bad little earring. Nice grab. So I just got a little ring. This was right next to that earring. This is ringing up at 15. It's all smashed up. Tell you what, I'm going to try to bend it out, wash it up, see if it has a mark. I guess I said ring, but this is a toe ring. All right there, it says 925. Look at that. Nice. I need to get some gold. All right, I see some. Looks like a little cross. Oh dang! You know what? That is fancy. I think that's actually silver with uh, gold on it. Dang, let me clean that up. So I'm gonna give you a, I'm gonna give you a close up here in a second, but I think it probably used to have more gold leaves on it. And those are pretty typically 12K, but it does have back marks. And the back marks, I do believe say 925 and 12K, so awesome. Well, that is a little gold. I'd like to get a little more, but man, that's so awesome. <laughs> so, I guess that's a little lion head ring I got there. There's the back side. It's definitely broken. I think it's some sort of some sort of junk metal. It's coming up in 11. Pretty cool though. Look at that dollar blowing down the beach. Got a little show and tell from Dinwiddie. Let's see what he's got. 1919 mark. Dang. I think this is silver. It doesn't have a marking that I can see unless it's on the stem. But it, when I rub it off, it starts looking like silver. And this thing here, it can give you. What do you think it says? When do we? And then it looks like a chicken. <laughs> when do we chicken? Yes, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I'm trying to clean it up a little more. It looks like a chicken or a turkey here. <laughs> awesome, that's old. Some, yeah, it's got some fancy on the sides. Nothing precious, and it's broke. But, or maybe just adjustable. Oh, well, maybe. I don't know. It looks like almost looks like it's fractured, but can't really tell. Cool, man. Anyway, that was pretty cool. All right, now I got my grandpa glasses on. It does say 925. Oh, sweet. I don't know what I got here. I had a boom and tom. I think this is some huge token or something. Dang, let me wash that up. Wow, that is a killer token. It says, true believers of Christ pray mightily. 
Defenders of Truth and Liberty. And it's got a little saying in memory of our God and religion and freedom and our peace, our wives and our children. I don't know. Everybody knows what it says. Anyway, that's awesome. I thought it was, I mean, it was actually ringing like a half dollar. You can see why. Crazy. Well, just got some waterproof watch, I guess. Doesn't look like it made it. Man, it's always amazing what switching up your coil can do. Look at that. Got a buffalo nickel. It's crazy too. I've been over this spot so many times. Let me uh, clean it up a little bit, see if we can get a date. Well, I'm gonna give you a close-up picture, but I think it's a 1923. My eyes used to be so much better. It's so hard for me these days. Have to break down and get some glasses. Well, that's probably going to wrap it up for the night. Anyways, this has been a few hunts after work. Just kind of strung them together, cut out all the clad. <laughs> but hey, that's a pretty impressive amount of jewelry and old coins and things because we have beat this place to death. Man, what a difference, you know, just slowing down, using the small coil. Anyways, Hope you enjoyed it. See you on the next one.